Hey guys, it's Rob from Hypop and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Godox M150 LED video light. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Hit that notification bell to be updated of any new content that we release. Leave a comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions about the Godox M150 LED light. Also drop the like if this video has helped you in any way. Follow us on social media at Hypop and visit our website hypop.com.au. Let's get into it. So I've got with me the Godox LED M150 LED video light with me here. It's probably one of Godox's more overlooked products because as you know, Godox have a bunch of different lighting accessories and equipment, including flash strobes for photography. So their LED or continuous lighting range for video is probably one of the more overlooked products. The LED M150 is a small mini LED light that you can mount a smart device such as a phone behind and you can use it as a light source for your phone. So rather than having to rely on the continuous light or the little light that's at the back of your phone, you can use a more color temperature rated light and also a stronger source of light that you can take photos or videos with. Let's take a closer look at what's included inside. So it comes in this really neat flat package here and opening this up, first things we see are a manual, and also a little warranty card from Godox and you have the LED light itself and you've also got a little tilt bracket. So this is like a quarter inch screw tilt bracket as well as a little mobile bracket and lastly is the charging cable so this is a USB mini or it looks like actually a USB micro charging cable so I've got with me a mini light stand here this one's optional it's not included um, but all the other accessories that come with the M150 are here now in terms of the light itself it's quite small it's about the size of a smartphone device so if you've got an iPhone it's about the same size as that however it is quite a little bit thicker it weighs about 170 grams and the actual light itself has 150 bulbs LED bulbs which is why it's called the M150 now the actual output at about half a meter away is about a thousand lux and overall this light is quite good in terms of its color temperature reading so that's 5600 Kelvin um, it's got a CRI rating of 95 plus and a TLCI rating of 94 so in terms of operating the light, it's actually quite easy. All you need to do is there's a little on off button on the side here, slide that to turn it on. You've got a little wheel here at the side that actually controls the intensity of the light. It's sort of like a stepless control. Um, so you just need to sl slide that to the left if you want to increase the intensity or slide that to the right if you want to decrease the intensity. There's a little LED indicator at the top here that actually shows the amount of battery that's left. So if you slide that to a higher intensity, what you'll notice is the indicator reduces in, in output there. So it's actually only got one little LED light. And then if you're using it at its lowest setting, it's actually a little bit more battery that, that's left there, obviously because you're drawing less power from the actual battery itself. Now that's the good thing about this particular light here is that it actually has an internal battery, which is a 3000 milliamp battery. And it's easy to charge because you can just use this USB micro cable, plug this in, and you can either plug that straight into a wall if you're wanting to use that uh, just continuously without having to worry about the battery, or you can plug this into a portable charger or a portable battery pack if you're wanting to be a little bit more mobile with this and want to charge this on the go. On top of that, you can obviously connect that to a computer or a laptop if you want another source of power for this particular light. The whole purpose of this light is to actually be portable and to be used with your smart device, which is why they include this bracket. And basically, if you want something that's like a little run and gun setup, or if you're wanting to use this setup on a tripod, whether you're doing it for live stream or you're shooting for social media, whether you're making a YouTube video or just shooting for IGTV or something like that, this is a great light for that. Now, at the bottom here, what you'll see is a quarter inch thread. And that actually pairs up to this little tilt bracket. All you need to do is just screw that in there. And you have at the bottom of the bracket, another screw thread here and also a cold shoe. So this cold shoe here uh, just can slide into any hot shoe of a camera. Uh, you can mount that in or if you have a camera cage or something like that, that's great to use. And you can mount this on top of your camera. 
Otherwise, you can use that quarter inch thread there and mount it to a light stand, so long as your light stand has a quarter inch screw. Now let's mount this onto this light stand here. There you go, so that's mounted onto the stand and you can actually loosen this knob on the side and that controls the tilt of the actual bracket. Now the good thing about this tilt bracket is that it sort of has like a little click lock play mechanism that allows you to just slowly tilt the light without it sort of just going completely loose. So that's a little great feature, it's a good quality tilt bracket. And on top of that, you have this little screw at the bottom there to tighten it further to secure that to the actual light itself. Now the light has a diffuser in the front here. It's a detachable diffuser, so if you want a stronger output, you can remove this diffuser. But obviously the light will be a little bit harsher on your subject, so it's best to use this little diffuser here as well. Now in terms of charging and everything like that, you have this charging cable. If using at full output, you'll be able to use the light for about 60 minutes or one hour of full use. And to charge the light, it's about four hours to go back to its full charge. So just be mindful of that if you're gonna be using this on the go, especially at full output, then you'll only get about one hour of battery life. And to mount the bracket, all you need to do is, you can see there's little clips there or tabs that you can lock them into. And on the actual left side, so if you're actually looking at the light here, it's gonna be on the left side of the light and you can just clip that into place. There's little tabs that the actual bracket lines up to. So to mount a smartphone device to the actual M150, once you've mounted the bracket, all you need to do is expand that out there and you can slide your smartphone like so. And just make sure the casing of the actual M150 doesn't block the actual lens of your camera. So you just need to position your smartphone so that the lens is to the side of the actual LED light there. Now that's better because Basically, if you didn't have some sort of continuous light, what you'll have to rely on is the torch or like that little LED light that's at the top of the iPhone here or if you have an Android device. And that light is obviously a single LED light and it's not that powerful. So if you're wanting a little bit more of a stronger light, you can use the M150. This is on a stand. So if you're self-recording, a stand's perfect. However, if you remove that off the stand, you can also use the bracket that's included as sort of like a handheld. So if you're vlogging, for example, so if you're actually just out and about, um, you can use that as a sort of vlogging handle, as well as just actually handheld without the actual tilt bracket too. So you can just remove that. You can use that handheld too. Uh, two hands just like that, nice and easy. Now, you would only use this light in low light situations. So it's not gonna overpower the sun or overpower you know, the lighting, if you have a lot of natural light, a lot of ambient light already available, you probably won't notice much of a difference. But in low light situations, especially if it's darker, it's late at night, late in the afternoon, um, it's great to use for photos or videos, and you can have the light focused directly on your subject, and that light drop off, because it's not so strong, that light drop off will really black out the, the background and, and make it nice and sort of focused on your subject. LED M150 is also perfect to use as a fill light or a hair light if you're using it in a lighting configuration. So if you have larger continuous lights, you can definitely use this as a sort of rim light or a hair light. Um, it's perfect for that also. That was just a quick unboxing and review of the Godox LED M150. This is the larger model of Godox's portable range of LED lights. So the smaller one was called the M32. We review lots of Godox products, so for more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be updated of any new products that, and videos that we release. Also, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the LED M150, as well as any questions that you may have. If this video has helped you in any way, drop us a like, and also follow us on social media, at Hypop, and visit our website, hypop.com.au. Thanks for watching.